Alright guys, the first tip is the Karkinos, the crab. You can be completely encumbered, but you can still jump. So you can get a full slot cap load of metal and still move by jumping. Also there's the shoulder push technique where you basically go over top of what you're trying to pick up, whereabouts the elbow is, and then you push it forward by grabbing it, it brings it to the claw forward. It's an easy way of maneuvering stuff around and making it so it's easier to get um, your Anki and everything else moved while it's encumbered. It's a great technique to use for that. If you haven't tried it, give it a go, it's pretty good. Also, as you can see, when you're holding an Anki and it's hitting, it actually hits faster. It, it cuts out half of the movement that it usually uses, it doesn't do the slam attack. In doing that, it attacks the rock twice as fast and allows you to gather metal a lot quicker. So if you do that with the technique with the elbow and jumping while encumbered, it's freaking amazing. It's so good. The only thing you have to worry about is um, the glitch where you can possibly mesh your dinosaur. We've had it a few times with the uh, crab and the Yankee. We have lost some real, real good ones, so you have to be you have to be sure you know about that. However, this is probably one of the best things to use on aberration because when you use a parasa, you can't slot cap the metal because you do eventually get heavy unless you have a super duper level one. You can have a basic crab and still get a slot cap metal run. They will probably patch this, so I apologize if they do patch this. But for now, it's amazing to get heaps of metal. So keep that in mind, guys. The next technique is how to actually knock out a Karkinos very easily. We have a, a, an amazing way of doing so. You lead it up next to the cannon at a specific angle, and the cannon's already angled towards its face. One shot will knock out a 150. Just in the face. Come on, bitch. Come on, level 150. You want to park right here. Yep. Yep. Now comes the best tip. The infinite flying glitch on the rock drake. It used to be the griffin glitch and they didn't patch it for the rock drake so use it as soon as possible before they patch this guys. Right guys so you remember the griffins right? You used to be able to do a glitch where if you dive down and you pulled out your gun and looked up you could basically scoot around the map at a super speed. So pretty sure you can actually do that with these drakes and I've seen people do it. My mate showed me. So, let's give it a go. I don't know how you do it. Gotta give it a go. Alright. Let's get up a bit higher. So as you dive down, look up, get your gun out, and the glitch will activate. It's freaking amazing. You can get really fast with this glitch. Like, it is insane, and you just keep going until your stamina runs out. Your stamina will run out eventually. It does use stamina, but it is one of the best things you can do around the map. The closest you'll get to flying on Aberration. And, oh my god, it helps out so much around the map. Like, you don't understand how much. You gotta use um, is it A and D to to control your movement sideways, but you're basically continuously flying. Unlimited flying. It uses your stamina. You can go up as well, and you can go sideways and land. Boom! It's fucking insane. So what you do? Let's just jump off of here for a second. For this, but this, this code and the mechanics have been taken over from when the Griffins were made. They just copied and pasted and didn't fix any of the problems. So you got this, you look down, seven, look up. 
and you can go at super speed across the map. Boom. Look at that. It's freaking insane, guys. Just constant gliding. How freaking insane is that? Like... I can get up and up and up and up and up. And then I can go down. You, you can maintain speed. I didn't maintain speed properly just then. Oh shit. Rip. <laughs> you gotta watch out for that at least. But I can continuously fly by going up and down. There's no, there's no lack of, yeah. You, know, you don't drop to the ground if you look up, which is pretty insane. Get some health just in case that happens to us again. And like I've just been flying around this whole time, no issues. Besides, obviously, half dying. But you can get back up again. As long as you've got good stamina, continuously fly with the with the rock drake. It's so freaking crazy. But you have to have your gun out. Broken. They will fix this, by the way, and I apologize if there's people in official that obviously know this already and don't want it patched, but it needs to be fixed because like the game's meant to be fixed if it's broken. This is on the server that we're currently kind of migrating to. We're doing two servers at once at the moment, so. If it looks it doesn't look so familiar to you guys, that's why. But there you have it. Infinite flying. Obviously it takes stamina as well, so it's not complete infinite flying, but it's the ability to fly around the map without having to land or anything like that. It's pretty crazy. Here comes one of the best PvP tips you can use. The basilisk. You can ride on top of the basilisk like you used to be able to do with the wyvern, so I think you still can do. You can have multiple people on top of it while the other person drives it and you can move across terrain and across the landscape super fast on land. This is insane, like it moves so fast and so well along land. The only thing that sucks is when you go over water you do get booped off, so be careful of that. However, not just moving across land, basilisks come with a pretty amazingly high carry weight, so they can carry a metric ton. Also. When you, when you bury them, they disappear. They hide. They can't be seen by, by other players of the, uh, the enemy players. It cannot be seen by them. So it's a perfect place to store your loot so that nobody can find it while you're on servers PvPing. Honestly, one of the best PvP mounts you can get if you're going out either griefing or if you're going out PvPing or if you're going out raiding as well. Don't need, you don't need a vault. Just hide it inside one of the basilisk and hide it in a spot that people don't know where it is at your fault and boom you're done it's insane guys right guys the glider suit wingsuit whatever you want to call it it's fine with me so when you press shift right when you're flying you press it once and it goes into a maneuverability kind of function where you can go up and down side to side if you go straight down you can get super speed and go heaps fast Kind of like what you do with the Griffin and a few other, uh, I think it's the Drake as well. When you go down, you get a bit of a glide speed. Um, it's really good to know because it helps you get away from people on, on flying mounts and people trying to snipe you and stuff. But make sure you don't hold shift when you jump off because if you do that, you're going to plummet to the ground and you're probably going to kill yourself. I've done it plenty of times and it's horrible. So make sure you tap it and then you tap it again to turn off and you just do a straight glide like, like normal, like your normal glide. It goes back into it. It's a really good thing to know because if you don't know that, you're putting yourself in a disadvantage when you're using the suit. Make sure you guys test it out, give it a go, it can be heaps of fun, you can have some really good PvP. Go back into that straight flying mode so you can shoot people in the air and then switch out. Hope you guys found all this informative and interesting. If you know more, let me know and I'll do some more videos. There will be more coming most likely, but until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll catch you guys later.
Bye.